Hello and welcome to Star Trek Online. In this new series, I'm going to be playing through all of the chapters in order, starting with, of course, the tutorial. Now, as you can see, I have already created my character. This is uh, Captain McTavish. Uh, you see, I've got my name here, JD, and I am JDMC on several different games, so JD MC Tavish. My ship is the USS Fujisawa. So, I'm going to complete doing the uh, preparations here before we start the tutorial. Alright, so we have some traits here. Uh, skills, of course, we've got nothing in here yet. And there we go. We are ready to go, I believe. Yep. Alright, so we are going to be replaying the tutorial as I've done this several times before. So, let's get going. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. So, for those of you who have never played Star Trek Online and don't know anything about it, well, this tutorial will give you some basic instructions on how to use the controls, uh, especially with keyboard and mouse, and it can be a little bit involved. But we're going to go through the tutorial, the uh, Graduation Day tutorial here. And that will be it for this video. So let's take a look at what we are going to do. So we're go actually going to be meeting a lot of our crewmates. So we're starting off with this People person. You can interact with have icons. All right, I'm just going to turn that off there. So we're going to talk to Cadet Elisa Flores. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. All right, so we need to talk to Raski over there. I'm just gonna run over there. It's a little bit faster. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me, I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tyrell. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. All right, thank you. So, of course, he is a Saurian. Let's go to, I believe this is Tavrell. She would be a Vulcan. Greetings. Raski said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Alright, on to you where your Morik. Are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Okay, as you can see, we do have the map up here. Yeah, let's close that. And, uh... Cadet Flores is following us. And we've got a Benzite. Cadet Morek. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. All right, so now we have to follow Cadet Flores. And, of course, next we need to do a few 
well, not a few things, but one major task here. So this is Lieutenant Farah. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I get my training cruise assignment? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? J.D. McTavish. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. Hmm. All right, thank you. Of your objectives also appears on your objects you can interact with. Have a glow around them. Of course, these Press have uh, suddenly started speaking at the same time. Come. Cadet. You asked to see me, sir? I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I'm not a tactical officer, sir. I concentrated on courses for my career track. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. You're a tactical officer, sir? Who's that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. Ah, so Cadet Flores is the tactical officer. I'll tell Flores to meet you outside. Talk to her to start the phaser training and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. Yes, sir. All right, I said that a little bit uh, too quickly, but we need to go to Cadet Flores. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Alright, so now we just follow her along. And it's a bit of a run. There's not too much to this next part. What we are going to be doing is uh, practicing using a phaser. So uh, there is a lot of combat in this game, so you Have do you need to know. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. Nope. I, I don't see him at all. I Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a Wait. fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Where's Boothby? To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. I've never actually looked for Boothby, but um. Interesting. So, just so you know, I have actually been a big Last Star Trek fan. Buys the first round tonight. Okay, fine, we'll run. I've been a big Star Trek fan for years, uh, since the 80s, so it's been a long time. All right. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky holodeck. Have any, uh, have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. What kind of tactics can I expect? It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako assault training. You're setting up the program. Are you making it easy for me? The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. Not saying I haven't learned a few tricks since then, though. I'll need a phaser. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Let's go. All right, the holodecks are straight ahead. Let's run through here, and there they are. So again, for those of you who've never played this, it's fairly simple. It's This is mostly like a, a point-and-click RPG game. But you do have to do all the combat yourself. You have to do a lot of the thinking and figuring out.
All right, we got... Well, we're gonna get pistols. None of these rifles, though. The pistol has been automatically equipped. And it seems it's always holodeck, too. Okay, so the pistol has been automatically equipped, and when you're firing, you want to make sure that you are right-clicking. So if you don't right-click, you're not going to hit anything. This appears to be a Klingon ship. In combat, right-click on a target to fire your weapon. Mm -hmm. Also, it says press 1 to use your uh, weapon's primary attack, and 2 to use your weapon's secondary attack. All right, so let's enter... And here we go. We got them. Ah, I have to enter completely. What's uh, kind of funny about this is this is so simple. You can get hit many times. It does take a little bit of time to charge up. And I am terrible at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Let me just tell you that. There we go. We got that one. They wait for you as well. It is quite easy, but well, don't combat, expect it to always be easy. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Right. So you want to make sure that uh, you are in the right position as well. So just a little bit here. You can use your mouse to control what direction you're looking in. You can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. All right. Holster and draw your... Yeah, so H, holster, draw, holster. There we go. So, now we are done. We talk to Captain Taggart. Well done, cadet. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. First officer, sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. All right, now we talk to Cadet Elisa Flores. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Let's see, what shall we say? Nah. It's a lot of pressure. I hope I'm up to it. You'll do great. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Remember, your objective locations can also be found on your compass as well as your mini-map. All right. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. So there is the turbo lift. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Yes, let's make a Vulcan cry. Alright, they're just over there by the bar. So, we're going to lead a toast. May I have everyone's attention? We are the senior staff of the USS Fujisawa. Each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand. And we are ready. I have the utmost faith in each of you. You're the best the Academy has, and together we can do anything. But we will go forth boldly like Starfleet has trained us putting to use everything we've learned here. To Starfleet Academy, to the USS Fujisawa, to her crew. All cadets, please board your shuttles. And... That is the graduation day tutorial pretty much done here. Just speak with the deck officer. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. I can't 
believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship though. I think I like her. Actually, I do like the Miranda class. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. All right, so that is graduation day. We're going to continue on in the next video with the training cruise. This is another part of the tutorial. But I'd like to thank you for watching. And of course, please check back. I am going to be uploading two videos a week on this series until we are finished the tutorial series. And we will carry on with the next part. So please remember to like and subscribe if you like what you see and we will see you next time so have a great day bye bye